The construction design industry has transitioned from traditional 2D design methods to virtual 3D design solutions or beam solutions that provide a digital prototype of a project over the last three years. BIM is now widely accepted as the de facto standard for the construction industry, serving as the most popular tool for pre-construction, planning, construction, and post-construction management. So BIM is, has been there and is always here to stay, is, is going to be here for a while. So while working with BIM softwares, it is critical to consider and should be primary requirement that users have simple interoperability, which means the ability to share design models, data, and works, regardless of the software application used, right? So that's basically open BIM. Like now the next phenomena is um, working on an open environment. As much as we will be working uh, with different softwares, so we need to consider a seamless collaboration uh, between consultants. So <clears throat> BIM came up with a, an, a, another acronym for the industry, for the, uh, which is IFC. IFC is an acronym for industry foundation classes. It's just basically a data format designed to facilitate the situation by allowing exchange of information from one party to another without data loss or distortion across different applications. So this is what I'll be covering on. Be covering today. Uh, yes, guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, this is Mesolat Visual. Um, in today's video, I'll be guiding you guys on just IFC workflows. F IFC workflows, like I, would, uh, like I already said, just an acronym for industry foundation classes. So if you're working with softwares, basically beam tools, uh, it's either Rivet, Akikad, and and so on. You need to be familiar with uh, industry uh, foundation classes uh, in terms of uh, if you're about all about uh, seamless uh, collaborations and innovation and so on. And basically, the software ecosystems they have adopted adopted this IFC thingy. So in today's video, like I said, it will be just a step by step guide into how IFC will be for the future and how you could tap into this industry foundation classes as well so as a, as a, as, a, as a norm as usual uh, i'll be using akiket as the mother software demonstration platform but in today's video i'll be opening rivet for exchange rivet is i'll be transferring my files from rivet to akiket so basically here in rivet Let's say I want to, you know, further analyze this building or further analyze or further, you know, let's say practicing beam in our office. So let's say the consultant that, that we are collaborating with here just modeled a double story here. So what we are going to do is, let's say if I want to do uh, schedules or maybe prepare drawings for uh, council municipals and so on. So I have to edit this file in Akiket. Though the model was revert, I have to have the seamless co co connection where I, I'll be just, you know, working with the same, same file from revert to into Akiket. So basically, yes, let's, uh, step by step, let's get into, let's get into it. So in Akiket, what you do is, is you go to file, and then interoperability, and then merge, merge from file, and then you look for IFC. So basically, when you export in Revit, you export IFC file. That's that is for further editing. As much as you know, IFC file is it allows for you to edit. It's just a common exchange. You know, like I said. So it will enable exchange of information effectively, exporting revert into Archicad via uh, IFC. So, and then you place your file, you place your file into uh, revert, uh, into Archicad, I'm sorry, sorry, into Archicad. So in Archicad, this model, 
you have the possibility of just te- changing texture, changing materials, changing whatever you want. You know, the geometry of the model has not changed. But here you have the possibility to further beam the file. Here you can change textures, you can text uh, anything. Paintings of uh, your, your, your walls and everything. So let's, for instance, let's, let's do uh, further editing and uh, schedule this file. Let's say you don't know how to schedule. You don't know how to schedule your, your rivet files. So this is where you could now you procure, uh, you know, you could do scheduling of your file. Uh, you could schedule your walls, you could schedule your windows, you could schedule, schedule anything in NACAD. As you know that interactive schedules in NACAD are really, really uh, handy. Really handy. I love interactive schedules in NACAD. So, yeah, you could use that that uh, smooth transition for, for that as well. But the, 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 and the possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless. You could... Uh, Use it for anything. FC means you know, it's 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 it, it's it's you know, opportunities are endless, guys. You could use that for that, for scheduling, for further editing, for simulations, and so on. So here I was just streaming project one. So project two, you could use it for maybe visualization. Let's say this project was just a, a commercial project. Our client here used Rivet to model everything, site works, uh, buildings, external buildings, and so on with uh, with with Rivet. So we're going to export and import them the project in Archicad. So we we it, it allows for smooth transition, guys. You know, it's just a revolutionary. Uh, it's been a true revolution in terms of our workflows. You know, we have now a common language for all operators involved in the project lifecycle. So it's basically it, IFC. So you cannot uh, talk about Beam and not talk about IFC. Adopting IFC um, will produce significant time. It does produce significant time, guys. You know, cost saving benefits amongst, uh, you know, collaborators, architects, engineers, and companies as well, just construction companies. You know, the benefits have been realized in a lot of pilot projects pilot projects guys um as as far as as well in the studio the, the pro, you know the benefits are endless benefits are endless so we could further use this project to to to, to visualize now edit the you know edit 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 and then export to our renders you know export to where we render now but you see the, the importance of interoperability the importance of interoperability, guys. That's just basically it. And the foundation, you know, it it has enabled a lot of collaboration. I think in back in I twenty uh three, four, it wasn't allowed. You are not allowed to edit the model. Now you can edit. You know, I think the building smart has enabled it now. You know, it has enabled the collaboration. This was just a, a quick introduction and approach to the industry foundation classes. It allows open beam practices. It's a solution for the building industry. I hope you learned uh, quite a few. It was just a quick demonstration, guys, of how open beam could be the solution in terms of your offices, how you run your offices by the use of IFC. So the, the IFC is not a, a common data exchange platform uh, or, or format. It has a schema as well, the, in terms of, it's sort of a schema, a classification. It's of, you know. So I think I'll do a part two demonstration of how you could, uh, you know, further understand the IFC schema as a standardized data model. You know, it has a lot of information, the specifications, it's, it's quite a lot. But he was just a, a beginner guide in terms of how you could uh, get your get yourself around IFCs and how do they work, the role, in a, you know, IFC and Beam, because Beam is information. It's all about information management, information management workflows, information, you know, 
it's all about information. So data is important in Beam. So IFCs uh, uh, help support the concept of Beam. So th that was an introduction, uh, and, and just a native IFC and open source, open Beam, and and so on. All right. Uh, all right, guys. I was just showing you workflows. You could further, let's say, the IFC you could use it for simulations. Uh, let's say you save your model for simulation for energy analysis. You could do that as well. Uh, you could. The, 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 the opportunities is endless in terms of what Beam holds, where we are heading with Beam. Uh, it's, it's, we, I think we are heading. We are heading. Uh, to a good direction. We're heading to a good direction, guys. Um, it will help in coordination, collaborations, and so on. So, all right. Let me not bore you guys. I think uh, I'll end here in terms of our demonstration. I was just showing you guys the exchange from Rivet to Archicad and so on. But, uh, this is the IFC workflow demonstration. All right. Um, I hope you picked up something or that something that I, I triggered you to look into. I hope. Uh, yes. All right, guys. Uh, I think we've come to the end of our video. But if if, if at all you I want to embrace this approach, this beam transition, uh, we have videos for this kind of. You know, demonstrations, uh, technology-wise, transforming Beam into Beam, how to get around Beam, open Beam, and so on. So incorporate the swag flows, uh, have our resources, practice with our resources, watch our videos. Thank you for supporting us, guys. Um, subscribe if you like this video, like, and there are many more videos, guys, into this channel. I think uh, it will take you through the beam journey and as well check our website for resources templates uh details you know project samples thank you for the big feedback uh, until next time stay creative catch you on the flip side bye for now